What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Brian B. I'm back at it. That's right. It must be Tuesday. I've been losing track of time because time's going so fast lately. I don't even really know what to think anymore because it's difficult. You can't even keep a calendar around. You get your phone, you got 750,000 apps. But you put a calculator and a calendar? <laughs> it's hard to find nowadays. Check it out. Hey, yo, look. I'm not in the Beeline Studios. I'm in a new studio. Yeah, I got new stuff going on. We changing a lot of stuff about the show. We doing a lot of things different. But um, yo, I'm really excited about it. I got so much to talk to you guys about. I've been going for like yeah, I think it was like two weeks now. I've had a uh, no show or whatever, but we've been getting some stuff together. Man, we doing so much more. You see, you got the shirts hanging up. You got that's the shirt for Baby Jordan. Baby Jordan, she got her shirt, and we got the Beeline Entertainment shirt going on over here. And of course, we got new stuff. There's new merchandise. It's everything. Yo, I'm so happy. I'm so excited. But I got to do a show. Tuesday nights. I've been going for too long, but now I'm back at it. Back at it. People, people. What's good? What's going on? It's your boy, Brian B. Check it out, y'all. I'm going to stop talking. You know why I'm going to stop talking? Because we got a new intro. We got a new intro that y'all ain't see. Yo, you want to see it? Let's get ready to do this. Let's go. Straight to the point, baby. It's going down in three. Two, one. People, people, ask your boy! Brian B. Let's go. Back on the B line. I'm looking forward to it. I'm so excited. Here's the influence you have. Again with Blakers! <laughs> you gotta be a clean baby's ass. <laughs> to the Beeline Web Show. Let's go! Yes! Yes! Hey, listen, I'm so excited about it because it's like, every time I do something different, um, it feels like I'm just adding to the show, man. I'm just adding, I'm adding to it. I'm hoping you guys are loving it. Once again, as always, thank you guys so much for the love, for the support, for all the, uh, you know, comments, for all the, uh, you know, requests to come on. Uh, it's, it's been amazing, you know. Everything's been amazing. That's why, like I said, this this thing is on the rocket ship, yo. And we're really changing a lot of things. I'm gonna share that with you guys today. We're also gonna talk about a couple of different things, and we're gonna do a little bit new things that we usually don't do on the show. Um, something that I want to try more. Uh, you know, um, coming on the episodes that are coming up. But uh, if you haven't already, make sure that you hit that like, hit that share, hit that subscribe, and you know where we at, cause it's been everywhere. We everywhere now. If y'all ain't even see, yo, I lately I've been doing. TikTok videos. Who would ever thought Brian B would be doing TikTok videos? I ain't dancing. I ain't doing none of that. But I'm saying, like, IT Tiff got me doing TikTok videos. And it's working out. I mean, you know, it's fun. You don't really got to do too much, yo. It's crazy how you can sit there and see just how fast people can become famous over doing nothing. Regular shit they do every day. <laughs> Talking about a video that's already made. <laughs> they don't got to do anything. But, um, yo, it's really fun, man. And, uh, oh, damn, Braun Strowman is on Raw. I didn't even notice it. I'm, I'm watching Raw, bro. Y'all know I watch wrestling. Yo, Braun Strowman is on back on Raw. That's 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 fine. We're going to talk about that on the entertainment show we do on Thursday night. Entertainment show, brand new this week as well. But, yo, I miss you guys, man. I miss talking to you guys. I haven't had a um, new thing. The IT Tiff over here. Yo, listen, say hi, IT Tiff. She ain't been on the show in a while, but yo, listen, we got a new setup or whatever. I'm trying to do like a, a lot going on, man. We changing, we making changes. Uh, we got our whole businesses going on, man. But uh, hey, listen, thank you guys. I missed you guys. Like I said, um, I wanted to come on and just talk. You know what I'm saying? I don't got no guests today. I want to talk about some stuff that's going on. Just free talk session. You know what I mean? Um, also going to watch some videos and um, um, some stuff that I've been watching and some things I kind of wanted to get off my chest. Um, really interesting, man. It's like you know, you 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 can't be bored right now. Like like you you can never be bored. It's, it's too much going on. Let's live in like a forest. <laughs> Let's live in a hut. And, 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 and you're trying to kill your dinner every night. You can't be bored. There's constantly something going on. There's constantly thoughts that you have to think about. Um, you know, things, you know, whether it be monkeypox or whatever the hell else is, you know, trying to take us out of the planet or whatever. It's something, it's so, it's, it's so many, so much content that's out there recently. And, you know, that's one of the things that I'm noticing, man. It's easy to put stuff out. It's easy to put yourself out there. So if you have an idea or like, you know, even something that you wanted to try, 
Go for it, man. It's nothing that should be holding you back at this point because there's so many ways, so many platforms that you can just put yourself out there, you know, without even really thinking about it too much. Um, that's why, like I said, I'm branching out to TikTok. We're making videos. I want to just kind of connect to an audience in a different way and uh, you know, do something special. Yo, listen, y'all know what time it is. We just reached September. It's September, y'all. And I'm really super excited. You know, that we're definitely doing a Halloween spectacular this year. Uh, I, I, haven't, I don't know what it's going to be yet, but I'm telling you right now, I'm trying to scare the hell out of you. That's my goal. It's my mission. The last one has been such a great success. Um, so many good feedback. So much good feedback from it. Um, it's so much fun doing it, too. I love horror, man. I love it. I've been a fan of it since I was little. People used to think I was crazy because all I did was just watch like horror movies, uh, Exorcist, all that shit that be scaring the life out of people. I'm, I'm, I'm a fan. But yo, Halloween episode coming out. I'm also doing a couple other holiday specials this year that I haven't done previously. I'm going to have all the kids come back on. I'm doing a lot of stuff, man. It's, it's really exciting time. You know, the change of the seasons is always one of my favorite times. It's just a different. It's a different feel. You know, you got the weather's changing. Football's back. You know, everybody got like like their little unique way of kind of like, you know, dealing with the change of uh, summer. Summer's so much fun being out, but then you get tired of sweating, being hot and shit for no reason. <laughs> So when you're fat, you just sweat for anything. <laughs> you sweat thinking. <laughs> but um, listen, it's fun because you know it's just a different time, it's a different feel. The holidays come around, you know, everything is just a little, 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 little different than normal or whatever. So you know, very excited about that. But um, anyway, yo, thank you guys. Hope y'all like the introduction. Um, so today on the show, I definitely wanted to speak on a couple of topics and um, watch a couple of videos. I want I want to watch a couple of videos with you guys or whatever. It's a couple of videos I've been seeing since I'm you know starting my TikTok venture. Um, you know, I was watching different videos, seeing what people are doing, and just like interacting. And one of the things I've been doing has been the duet shit or whatever. And you duet, you see a video, you watch it, and you like talk about it as people are doing it or whatever. And it's easy, yo. It's easy, but it's also like it's fun because it's like you give your opinion on on, on what's happening or whatever. So I said. Fuck it, I'm gonna do it on the beeline. I wanna see what happens. I wanna see what you guys think or whatever about the topics. Now, let's just get started or whatever. So, one of the first videos that I saw was pretty popular or whatever. It was pretty it was a popular one that was going around and it was like definitely a heated discussion or whatever. Um, you know, I don't even want to talk about it. I'm just gonna show you. Check, check it out, check it out. Thanks. We've been FaceTiming, come on, we've been FaceTiming every day. I don't FaceTime give a fuck. Day. No, and you really taking me all the way back to the fucking airport? You really taking me back to the airport? Yes, you going to the fucking airport? Yes, you going And you taking me back to the airport because of no because of what? Tell me why. Give me no cheeks. Nigga, I'm not fucking out. obligated to, to give you no. My, what? I flew you out. Nigga, what are you talking about? Nigga, you were lame as fuck. No, you're lame as fuck. No, no, no. You're fucking lame. You're lame. Just take me to the fucking airport. Just, just, just get me there. Just Walk around my crib, titties out, and stuff like that, taking showers in my shower. Nigga, it's my like body. What are you, what, okay. what are you talking about? I don't care. You can't. I don't house. have to give you my coochie. Are house. you okay? No. I don't have to give you my coochie. Just get out of my car. Just make sure you give me my fucking confirmation number. Where, what? Where Ain't no confirmation number. What you mean? Ain't no confirmation if I catch the flight. I catch your flight. Buy your own ticket. You mentioned I'm going through cheeks? No. Get your bag. I ain't your bag. Here, your bag Nigga, right here. I came here with nothing. Are you serious? Cool. Go. I'm serious. You want to give me no cheeks? You got a deal. Nigga, you're lame as fuck. Because you can't get no cheeks. I'm serious. I'm serious. You got to go. You got to go. I'm not paying for your ticket. I'm not paying for none of that shit. I don't care about none of that shit. You're lame as fuck. You can't get no pussy. All right. Buy your own ticket. All right. So... So obviously we got an interesting topic here, right? Or whatever. This was this one of the ones that catch you. Like you, you, you automatically know. Like some people are gonna think that you're dead wrong or you're dead right. Like it's gonna go two ways. It's gonna be two sides, or whatever. So apparently, like I, I took some time to kind of like you know watch the whole video and see everything and see exactly what happened. So apparently in this clip, um. So I guess a guy and a girl, they was talking. I don't know if they knew each other for a while. I don't know. But apparently they were talking for some months or whatever. And they long distance, I guess Facebook, Internet uh, hookup or whatever. And um, the guy flew the girl out. So she got there and basically, you know, didn't want to do nothing with him. And uh, apparently she was talking to him and saying stuff or whatever. Like, hey, yeah, I'm, I'm, I like you, whatever. You know, he whipped this shit out on her or stuff like that or whatever. So... It was an establishment. It was it, 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 it was it was a connection that was made with these two or whatever. So my man flew the girl out and um you know expected you know to have fun with her. 
But apparently, it, it wasn't going down like that. <laughs> no, yo, listen, it's crazy because you can't... Well, who's wrong, right? Like, that, that's the way you want to look at it. Now, I'm going to give you my view, a point, my, my point of view... And um and then and then then you can talk about it in the comments if you want. You'll leave your comments. Let me know how you feel. Now listen. In this situation, the dude he flew out. He wanted to to, to show off and see where it was, where it's gonna go, whatever. Man, she accepted it. Now it ain't like she didn't know what was gonna go down. She knew exactly what she was getting herself into. So. I definitely feel the dude's absolutely right. She ain't paying for the, the she and the, the crazy part to me is the crazy part probably of the video is that she was expecting him after she you know turned him down. She turned him down. Like to, to me, she lucky that he drove her to the airport. <laughs> I don't even ask walk. I don't even ask walk. <laughs> Catch a cab, bitch. <laughs> but I'm just saying, yo, listen. But what's crazy is. It's like, all right, so you going to go through all of this and you're going to let me fly you down here. And apparently, like he said, you walking around the hotel room, you got a towel on, like you doing all this or whatever. And then when it's time to like, OK, oh, what's good? What's going on? Whatever. You want to retreat, retreat, <laughs> back up. <laughs> Listen, yo, come on. Let's be real, man. Any other situation, you know damn well what was going down. You know what you was flying out there for. You wasn't flying out there to play checkers. You was flying out there to, to handle business, man. You was trying to uh, meet this guy that you were talking with, whether he was doing whatever he was doing. And nine times out of ten, you know, this wasn't a part of the video, but let's be real. If dude flew her out there and they've been talking or whatever, who knows what this guy was doing? Sending her money, you know, whatever. You know, I'll well, speculate, whatever. But um, she got there... And she was like, look, nigga, you ain't doing nothing with me. <laughs> that nigga was mad. <laughs> you ain't doing nothing with me, okay? <laughs> so I'm pretty sure he was mad. But, yo, he has a right to be mad. I'm saying, like, he put forward his best game or whatever. And, um, you know, and she accepted that play. So I'm just saying. What you think, Auntie Tiff? What you think? Was she was she was she was she, was she, uh, was she in the right? You know what I'm talking about? Uh -huh. You don't remember the video? You're talking about the one where the guy was flying her out and whining and dining her. Yeah. And then basically she was like, I don't know what you think is gonna happen, but I'm just enjoying the ride, basically. Well, it was deeper than that. So basically, <clears throat> I got Auntie Tiff here now. I can ask her a question. Y'all see her, but she here. Yo, so basically the dude flew the girl out. Or whatever. Oh, Archie Tiff is here, y'all. Archie Tiff. She, I told y'all she's still around. She, Archie Tiff, doing, she got a whole business and everything. She's doing her own thing now or whatever. But um, basically, the dude flew her out. And, um, and, um, and, and they were talking for a while or whatever. But she sat here and uh, when she got there, she was chilling with him. And basically, he wanted to do something. But she cut him off. She was like, no, I'm not doing nothing with you. So the dude drove her back to the airport and let her and took her home because she didn't want to do nothing. And she was acting like, oh, you don't want to do nothing. It's mine. I don't have to give you nothing. I don't have to do nothing for you or whatever. But the guy's like, yo, you don't want to do nothing. I don't want nothing to do with you. So the clear division is you a woman. A woman, you don't have to do nothing you don't want to do. Y'all know that shit. You don't need nobody to tell you that. You don't, You make the decision on your body, on your thing, or whatever. But, let's be real. Nobody is going to fly somebody out somewhere and then and then just, oh yeah, well, I guess we'll just play, be friends or whatever. Come on, man. Like, you got to be realistic. If you don't want that kind of, like, you know... Um, portrayal, whatever, you don't want to feel like that's what you're going to be tied into, then don't fly nowhere. Why are you going to jump in the plane? You want everything to go your way. And that's why I feel like my man was absolutely right. What you feel? Especially as a woman, you already know the expectations. Shh, quiet, baby. You already know the expectations that might arise in a situation where you're going out with someone. Like you said, no one is saying you have to do this or you have to do that. But... If you're going on a date and you know he's flying you out, you know he's doing all these grand gestures, yep. nine times out of ten, he's not just doing that so that it's a regular date. There was probably some kind of previous discussion yep. about expectations. Um, and unfortunately, 
if she would have been honest up front yep. instead of while she was out there, they could have avoided this whole mess. She could have avoided humiliation. I mean, I can understand it that she was upset, but at the same time, you went there deceitfully because yeah. you knew it wasn't just a regular trip to Red Lobster or something. Exactly. And you took advantage of that situation. And that's what I said, too. And that's the same kind of thought process that I have, man. It's like, I feel like sometimes people want to... And then, and then the, the crazy part is, like, y'all saw... She's all like entitled, like, well, it's me. Like, like, like she's shocked at the shit. Like, uh, if she helped pay for it, then sure. No, she didn't pay for it. He mm -hmm. flew her. That's the craziest part about it. It's like, how you gonna have entitlement and you ain't even do nothing? Like, he bought you everything. So it's like, of course he he doesn't. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying it. Now, just to be clear, I'm not saying that that means that he bought her. Mm -hmm. But technically, <laughs> he got the price tag. He got the receipt, like you know what but I'm saying. Like a lot of times, there's already a conversation about something regarding that. Yeah. And unfortunately, a lot of women will speak a good game about, oh yeah, I want to do this with you, do that with you, and then when something like this happens, and he's like, okay, well, like we already talked about it, let's yep. do what we discussed. You know, then you want to back out. Yes, you can back out still, but you did set up that expectation, and I don't know what exactly. happened in this situation. But a lot of times that how that is how it goes. That's how, but that's how it went. That, at least that's how it seems like it went from the video. You know, y'all saw it. I mean, you know, definitely go check it out if you haven't. But it is a good discussion because it is one of those things where it's like, yo, you gotta understand. Like, you know, it's back in the day, you used to say the same shit. Like, you know, don't dress like a cop if you don't want to be treated like a cop. You know, like. <laughs> Don't put yourself in that position and then think, oh, well, I'll just make it work however I make Unless it work. Unless he usually was doing that already without any expectation and was just doing that. Because I could kind of, like, in a situation like that, as a woman, you should be like, wait, something's weird because we've only been out this many times and it's like like our anniversary kind of date. Yeah. But if he automatically came out the gate like that, it's a little different. But I don't think you would fly somebody out and do yeah, all nah. that stuff I highly on doubt the it. first date. Yeah, I told, what it sounded like, from, one, from the video, it sounded like he was talking to her and they were talking long distance, like I said, however they met, Instagram, Facebook, whatever. And then he decided to fly her out. Because they were talking. And he's even said in the video, he's like, yeah, we were talking, you were talking, you were being a freak and stuff like that or whatever. And now that she that got expectation. there, expectations, exactly, she did the words right out of my mouth. You can't sit here and portray, you can't, yeah, yeah, you can't portray something, but then you want people to fly you out and do all this fancy shit. But then when it's time for like, you know, yo, what do you expect him to expect? What do you expect? Oh, it's my body. It's definitely your body. But I'm saying like, he's not crazy for be like, yo, you're not, you not doing this? Like, of course, I, I don't want to deal with you no more. Like, the only reason it seemed like old dude wanted to deal with you, fly you out, chill with you. You don't want to do nothing. I'm saying, be real, yo. Like, we're, we're grown ups, man. We're not, we're not in, in, in elementary school. Like, we, we ain't going to go play in a sandbox. Like, they flew you out for a reason, bro. I'm pretty sure it's a lot built up. You know, it's a lot of, you know, time. And that's when you're talking about you're not doing nothing. There's nothing going on. I don't want nothing to do with you. I'm sorry, maybe, I mean, I don't know if he handled, I mean, he didn't seem like he'd handle it in that bad of a way. I know people out did a hell of a lot worse. I think they were texting about it, messaging about it, and she was like, yeah, while we're out, we're going to do X, Y, Z, blah, blah, blah. And I think one of the biggest issues was the attitude after that. Yeah. As if, you know, how dare you think I'm going to be doing all this stuff when you kind of set up that whole scenario exactly and she even told him she even she was like she was like oh just pay for my confirmation just pay for my ticket to go home and he was like i ain't paying for shit <laughs> I ain't paying for nothing. make sure you got your own money how can you expect somebody at, at the end of all of that how do you expect somebody to to pay for your ticket like he just kicked you to the curb basically and then you think he's still going to do stuff for you like that's she, she she was in a whole nother mindset. She must have been dealing, or or maybe she was crazy, but she probably dealing with dudes. That's another that's another topic though. It's like that's, that's one of the reasons for me though. I've never been that kind of person, man. I never wanted to ever flashy, dashy, you know, um, 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 um show you the gold and the gold jewels and. I don't never want that as as a, as a part, especially on a first date. Who, who wants to go out and you got guys picking your first date up in limos and and doing the most, man? It's like 
you're never getting to know a real person. Like, what, what what are you expecting somebody to like? Are you expecting somebody to like you as a person? Or are you expecting somebody to like what you got or what you can do? If you're doing all this flashy shit at the beginning, you're establishing a connection with the shit that you have or your material, whatever. If you go out, you meet somebody. Now, now, now don't get me wrong. You can't, you know, you, you, you can't take them to McDonald's and shit and, and think that it's just going to be like, okay, cool. You know, unless you just got somebody who's just cool like that. But you want to try to sit there and at least go out a little bit. You know what I'm saying? To me, movies, restaurant, um, maybe a show, like stuff like that or whatever. Like, you know, somewhere nice and y'all go together, whatever. That's cool. But don't be cheap. And don't be ex extravagant, man. It's not going to do nothing but, you know, uh, set a tone that you have to constantly meet. And also, like, not get to not get to know somebody for them, and they can't get to know you for you. So what are you looking for? I think that's, like, you know, at the end of the day. It seemed like old girl was satisfied. Oh, this is the guy that can fly me out. She but wanted to establish that shit. One thing that women have to keep in mind is, unfortunately, you never know what kind of situation you might be in. You know, you you don't know if he was a psychopath. Yeah, and really. And you have to be able to understand that you got to have a way to take care of yourself in any situation. Yeah. If your date goes to the bathroom and never comes back, you need to be sure that you can get back home, that you could, you know, pay for your meal. Yeah. That you have some kind of safety precaution in place. Yeah, that's for real. And, and I, I, I mean, I, to me, just looking at the video, I'm pretty sure she had money. I hope she had money. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, her ass is still there right now. <laughs> but at the same time, it's like, I think it was just the fact that she just thought that he was supposed to do it for her. It, she had it in her head, like, what do you mean you're not going to pay for my ticket back? What, what do you think I mean? You're, I'm kicking you out. Like, I'm done with you. I just told you, like, yo, if you ain't giving it up, basically, there's some clear words. If you ain't giving it up, get out. Like, you know what I mean? That's what she, that's what he did. He drove ass there. But it was funny because <laughs> he opened the trunk. He was like, here, take your take your shot. I'm not even getting your back for you. <laughs> that's how you know somebody's done. <laughs> but, yo, that was really interesting, man. But like I said, man, yo, stop trying to wine and dine, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, um, a dating, especially when you, especially nowadays, yo, it's hard to get to know somebody. Everybody got a fucking image they try to maintain, whether it be on their social media, whether it be whatever. You don't even really got to see people now. You can date somebody on the damn computer forever. But, um, you know what I'm saying? Try to meet somebody. You know, be with somebody for the right reasons, yo. If you if you are doing it for those reasons, understand and be real, bro. Be reasonable. If somebody coming at you because they flying you out, yo, listen, you, you, you don't got to, but, yo... <laughs> You better expect it because they don't like flying you out for 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 laughs and giggles, yo. They flying you out because they trying to get down. But um, it was that was really interesting, yo. And I know it was a hot topic. Like I said, um, it, it, it's it's difficult, man. I mean, you know, when we when we our dates or whatever, what was our what was our first our first date was like it was like dinner, right? We didn't really. Yeah, we didn't really do I didn't too know much. We were a psychopath. Yeah, we just <laughs> met each other and we just went and um. And, and then uh, we went to like Ruby Tuesdays. Yeah. We went to the movies, you know, things like we that. We didn't even go to the movies our first date, though. We went to the Smoothie King to meet in, the, in that parking lot. Oh, and then we went right. And Smoothie. then we went to Ruby Tuesday. Oh, we went to the park, too. But me and Nachi Silva was wilding out. <laughs> we did other shit. We didn't do too much, but we, we, we liked each other. But um, yeah, it was like our first date and shit like that or whatever. But then after we went to the movies and we did some other stuff, we just, and that's always the best stuff, yo, when you're able to sit down and talk to somebody and get to know somebody. But every, I'm also saying that knowing everybody's not always into that. Everybody's trying to talk. You know, you, you, you're talking to people or whatever, but you're, 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 you're trying to establish what you're trying to establish. If you, even, even with us, I was very clear up front. I'm not doing X, Y, and Z yeah, right now. Yeah, exactly. So, so there was no deception anywhere. Yeah. There was no like no confusion. Trickery. I was very clear up front, which is what people need to do. When you put all these, when you play all these games, and then you're mad because the other person playing too. Exactly. Yeah. And now you're in a situation where like, oh snap. I was just kind of talking to talk. Yeah, 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 well, yeah. And that's, they don't want to talk anymore. They don't want to talk anymore. You're going to get caught eventually, yo. And that's that's the thing. 
And you got women like that. You got guys like that too. But you do have a lot of times you got women out there, especially like, you know, pretty girls that get their shit done um, and, 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 and they just want to be that trophy. They want to be taken care of. So some of them do it straight up, straight forward. And some of them do it sneaky. Like, oh, well, even though he thinks he's going to do this, um, uh, he's not going to get farther than he thinks he is. And some dudes will sit here and really be stupid and just continuously keep chasing it. You got dudes who she would have been like, I'm not giving you nothing. Flew her out there. And she probably did it before. And but but she sat there and this dude was like, You ain't giving me something? All right, get the fuck out of here then. I don't need nothing to do with you. That's what it was. So it's like, I don't know, bro. It's, it, it's crazy. I don't understand how anybody can deal with that. But I guess the reward when it when when, when it does happen is is uh is good enough to keep trying for it. It's also his fault a little bit for setting up something that extravagant yep. and then being set up to to that yeah. you know, proportion. If you got money and that's how you want to use it, I mean that's you. But I'm just saying, you gonna be flying people out like you don't got nobody in the neighborhood, bro. <laughs> you had them already. I need some four. <laughs> well, whatever, man. But that, yo, that was an interesting video. And like I said, it's a topic for discussion. I'm going to probably talk about stuff like that, you know, again. You know, it's interesting. I didn't even know IT Tiff was going to be here. But um, it's interesting to talk about things like that because it's it, there is different dynamics, man. You have different people who diff do different things for different reasons. And, uh, I mean, unfortunately, you know, when you see it happen and you, ha you have the chance to kind of like, you know, uh, state your opinion on it. It's, it's interesting because you don't you don't know if you're not somebody who's in a situation like that a lot. You know, it's it's interesting to see, like how can people be so stupid, bro? But it's like that's just them to them. It's, it's but I think it's stupid. I think it's a waste of damn time. So so other videos that I've been watching have been um, these guys that have been uh, doing these pranks and shit, yo. Now listen, I've been a fan. I've been a fan of the other other of the, of the prank videos for a while, or whatever. Now. It used to be really crazy. Like, I used to watch that shit on YouTube or whatever all day with the guys who would do the pranks in the hood and they go into the hood and they go um, find these dudes, like these gangster dudes, and, and go and mess with them, pulling their pants down and shit. I don't know what's wrong. <laughs> like, people lost their damn minds. <laughs> How are you even like trying to do some shit like that? Like, the world is dangerous enough. But um, you'll go in and sit there and, and sacrifice yourself to make a damn video, man. I don't understand even how that's even possible. But, um, you know, recently you've had more. It's been kind of like a different way that they've been doing it recently. And you have uh, the guys who are going in the stores and they're, you know, uh, uh, talking to people, walking up to people, doing weird stuff or asking them things and, uh, you know, things like that or whatever. You got the one guy, little short little Spanish guy. Chupapi, me, my pingo, pingo, pingo. <laughs> Throwing shit or whatever. See, most of his stuff looks staged. And I, right, if you're going to do that, as long as you're cleaning up, like, the mess that you're making and stuff like that or whatever, if you're doing that for your videos, now, if you're just leaving it and you you kind of, you trying to be a shitty person, but um, the people who are just doing stuff to people who are not, like, expecting it or whatever, like, that's the shit that's kind of weird to me, man, and and I've been watching, check it out, check it out, watch, watch, watch this one. So this this one was really interesting to me because I'm I'm sitting here like, all right, this, this where is the line that's drawn before you know prank and like abuse and shit? You know what I mean? Like this guy's over here shooting water at um at, at somebody. You know he don't know him. He has no idea who this person is. And um, you know, what, what's, what's even more crazy about this video was like somebody else was involved, like an innocent bystander, or whatever. Like what if this dude? Like you don't know people, right? What if that dude would have got up? And just started like hitting the dude, pulled out a gun, shot him. Like this fucking kid is playing for a TikTok video, but anything could have happened, yo. Is it that funny? Like you sitting there shooting water at somebody and they don't really know, you know what I'm saying? Like it was fun in games until it's not. Like that's what's crazy. But um, you know, I just feel like if you're going to make videos like this, like, you know, you, first of all, you got to make sure that you're definitely, you know, dealing with the right person. Because the wrong person, shit could turn bad real fast. But um, 
how funny is it, man, doing stuff like this? Like, people are going through enough. Like, first off, you don't want to touch people. You don't want to be dealing with people. It's already sicknesses and shit going on every five minutes. Like, yo, I hate going to the store. <laughs> I hate it. I hate being around people, yo. I be telling people all down to the store today. I'm like, yo, all right, when I start seeing people pack into an area, I don't want to be nowhere near it. I be trying to freaking uh, Mission Impossible my way through that shit, so I don't got to deal with nobody. But, um... Then you got to go there and people jacking with you and and, and, and and shooting you with water and and walking up to you trying to take your girl and all that goofy shit. Nah, bro, I ain't got time for that shit, yo. You know, this is the other guy. This is the other. Check, 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 check it out. Check it out. You hand that air shampoo for me, boy? Boy, who? Boy? What's I wrong with you? hand that for me, boy. Yeah, you got this. No. <laughs> hand that to me right now, boy. Nah, I'm good, bro. I said hand that, boy. That's all you, man. Right now, boy. You hand that milk to me, boy. Hand that for me, boy. You know me. Hand that milk to me, boy. You know me. No, but you gonna hand that milk to me, boy. How you know me? I don't know you, but hand that milk to me, boy. Sweet, hand that milk, boy. Hey, you gonna hand me that, boy? Is it right? Here? You hand that to me, boy. What's up, man? Yeah, get that for me, boy. Thank you, boy. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, yo, I'm doing a YouTube video. You nice as fuck. This nigga, <laughs> you a good person, bro. Good, bro. I love you. I love people uh, like you. You gonna survive like, in this world? I, I, like, I don't know, man. I don't know. It's really crazy. Like, how are you going to sit here and walk with this guy? And you know, and and, and, the, and the title behind it is, uh, uh, you know, um, grown men don't like being called boy. I, I I don't think that's the case. You 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 know what I'm talking about. You you saw that video with the with the guy, and he's uh uh walking up to the to the guys in Walmart or whatever. Like it's just a light skinned dude, big dude, and um he's walking up to the guy. He's walking up to him and he's saying, "Hey, hand me that boy. Give me that boy. Hey boy, give me that right there, boy. You heard what I said? Give me that boy. Can you fucking imagine us being in Walmart and somebody do that? To <laughs> I see you. I would never, I wouldn't even know what to do, like, the reaction would have been so immediate, like, who the fuck are you talking to? I don't understand, like, it's, it's and, I, and I know it's, it's weird because, like, you know, you you don't know who, you, who you're, who you like, you know, messing with, like, it's funny for a video, and I've seen a couple of times, like, you know, where he stops, and he's like, I'm just playing, I'm just playing, but even then, it's like, yo, don't play, bro, like, you, like there's certain things you, you have to be really careful, man. Once you do something, that's no longer, like, a joke. Exactly, it's happening, you know, you know what I'm saying, like, that dude getting shot with water, that happened, oh boy, we, he had to get wet before he found out that you was on some funny shit, like, <laughs> It's too late. <laughs> what if it was allergic to water? Like, you don't know people. Like, certain things, you're going to do a prank. If it's, like, I guess, what, 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 what's, like, minor? Like, what's, what's something that, that we can agree? Like, okay, um, somebody took some out of your cart and then, you know, walked around and you looked for it and then they put it back or whatever. Even that's, like, leave me the fuck alone, bro. Like, why are you playing games with people, yo? Like, it's just... You know, we got all these damn crazy-ass shootings and stuff that's going on constantly. Like, you don't know what's going to set somebody off, man. People deal with stuff every day. I know it's funny to watch, I guess, or whatever, look at it or whatever. But, yo, at the same time, man, I could watch something else, bro. Like, leave people the fuck alone, bro. People going through too much right now. People trying to get murdered out here going to Walmart. <laughs> you already imagine the food is $5,000. <laughs> people, people just don't care anymore, man. But um, it was just real interesting, yo. I just thought it was real interesting. Like I said, I've been on TikTok. And I, I I think I got a problem, man. I'm like, I'm addicted to that shit. <laughs> yo, I can just on it right now. <laughs> she can't even go to sleep. <laughs> but yo, listen, it, it, it's fun. It, it is fun. Like it's a lot of stuff on there. But I think that there's different things that people can do, and it doesn't have to be you know messing with people, bro. Or if you're gonna do it, stage it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, make it funny and stage it or whatever. But then, that's the problem. Isn't that the, isn't that the problem? Like, you know, then you're setting an idea for other people to do. Because everybody ain't smart. You, you you gotta deal with the dumbasses around you. Like, you know, um, I'm trying to make something difficult for the people who know how to do stuff. So everybody's not smart. So, you know, even if you do stage it, somebody gonna go out there and do it for real and shit. But, um, 
it's just one of those things, man. But that's just one of the, some of the things. Like I said, I've been I've been um, checking out since I've been uh, you know doing this thing, and we're gonna talk more about it, and we're gonna um, you know talk with more people about different stuff like that or whatever. Maybe I'll even have like you know one of those guys come on, you know who knows, uh, uh, reach out to somebody and like ask them, like tell them their face, like yo, why are you fuck with people so much? <laughs> Go home. <laughs> what, you got kids or something? What, what are you doing? I got so much time. I don't have any time to do anything anymore. I just got time to walk and walk in Walmart and jack around with people. But, you know, whatever. Like I said, yeah, I, I wanted to come back and, like, you know, say a thing. I'm back every week. I'll be back every week, uh, you know, going forward and everything like that. We're going to have guests coming back on. If you want to be a guest, if you're watching, definitely check it out. It's going to be a short video. Just wanted to come on and do an episode for y'all. Um, I yo, Honestly, I did this episode last week, and uh, I had some technical errors or whatever. But, um, you know, that's why I'm trying to, you know, get in a new studio. I'm getting, uh, you know, I got two studios now. Uh, doing different things, man. Um, we 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 are working on merchandise. You see the hats, and I know you see the shirts. They've been coming out. We're gonna ha um have those coming forward soon. We're also trying to do like a thing where if anybody wants to donate to the show, um, we're gonna set that up as well. We're doing a lot of business stuff. The Beeline LL, the Beeline Entertainment LLC. Um, we got a whole um, um business going, man. And this has become a brand. I've been wanting it. Also. A big thing, JD the Mouth is back. And that's crazy. Me and him are going to be on here. You're going to see us doing some shows. We're going to be powwowing. You see, IT Tiff is still here. Um, even though you can't see her, she over there chilling or whatever. She ain't feel like getting all dressed up and stuff like that. But, um, baby Jordan here. My baby's sleeping right now. Yeah, we, uh, we, yeah, we in the room right now. But, um, listen, guys, I miss you guys. I'm so happy to be back. Um, we got a lot of stuff coming. You're going to see me all over TikTok. You're going to see me all over Instagram. I'm making crazy videos every day. Instead of doing my job that pays me money, I'm making videos now. <laughs> I don't want that shit anymore. <laughs> but, yo, listen. I, be long. I love y'all so much. Stay tuned. Yo, like I said, it's the end of the year. We're just starting. We're just starting. We've been on. Yo, just to say this out loud, we've been on for two years now. Two years the Beeline has been popping up on y'all feeds, popping up on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, all over the place. And I want to thank you guys, everybody who's followed. Continue. Trust me. We're not going nowhere. We are growing. Me and JD the Mouth had a, a, a whole interview like we were in a board meeting with dudes with stupid suits and ties on. <laughs> we doing it, yo. We doing it. I can tell. What do you got to say in closing? You ain't seen everybody in so long. Say something to the people. People, people, oh, people. Oh, here she goes. It's I. T, T. Yeah, T, T. What? Remember that shit back in the day? Yo, we back at it. We back at it. J Flash, J Flash, we working on J Flash, man. We trying to get him to come together. He's making videos. He's going to be popping up. Probably going to be me and him on the entertainment show on Thursday. Check out the entertainment show if you're liking it. You know, if you want to come on and show ah, That's right. We doing it big over there, too. But, yo, until next time, next Tuesday, I will be back. Maybe I'll have um, um, JD the Mouth. Maybe I'll have you. Maybe you coming on and talking with your boy Brian. Be talking with strangers. Or we free talk. Or we got current events. We do it all man i love y'all i love this it's me brian b and telling y'all i'm telling y'all to stay true stay positive pay attention pay attention damn it and i'll holler at you